Hello, good afternoon, and Gorringe is on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 13th of July, and a few changes have taken place, um, partly as a result of uh, the COVID distancing issue, um, and partly for practical reasons, we have moved our furniture over to um, display just across the road in our warehouse, just over the road from the cell room. So, you will see it all laid out like so. Lovely, nice straight lines, you can get around everything, have a good look at it, plenty of space for social distancing, and let's have a look and see what's in this week's sale, some interesting things. I'm not so sure this is the best start, but there we go, look at that, 1950s kitchen cabinet. Um, you know, not many of those survive, it's a sort of funky retro thing, that is lot 81. Moving down the line, I quite like these, these Chinese um, chests here, a pair of them, and uh, medicine chests they're called in theory. Lots of little drawers, people like things with little drawers, and uh, you can get some cassettes in here, look at this, wow, TDK cassettes, doesn't say what's on them, I think we'll sort those out before we buy. Nevertheless, lot 75, pair of those, kind of fun. Down the line, usual mixture, it's half the warehouse that is on view and in the sale this week, the other half next week. So we're seeing the usual uh, large pieces, like this big dresser here, which obviously needs um, something across the top. Nice quality card table here, lot 94. It's actually a tea table because it hasn't got bays. Moving down the line, things I particularly saw that I'd like to share with you include, there's a square piano over there. Now the one last week made lots of money because it was fully playable and all in really good restored condition. That one uh, isn't. In fact, I don't think it's got its contents anymore. But a uh, good looking thing, bit of fun, decorative piece. That's lot 166. Over the way, what else have I seen? I rather like this commode. I guess it's, it's, it's 19th century, I guess it's um, Austrian or something along those lines. And what's rather nice about this is this interior. There we go. We can persuade it to go down. It's got um, a sort of secretaire type interior with this barred side. It's kind of fun. Big old lump, lot 34. Great quality bureau here. This weighs an absolute ton. The weight of this mahogany, early Cuba mahogany, lot 33. I know they're not popular, uh, but uh, there we go. It's, it's a big old piece for your money, should you like it. And then we have things like this secretaire bookcase, lot 98. And uh, this one's in. It needs, it's not a secretaire, that is just a fixed drawer. That's going to be in about two to three hundred pounds. A lot of furniture for your money. And then we have a sort of garden section as always. What do we see here? Well, look at that bench over there. Look at the lichen on that. Must have taken months to grow it, if not longer. Looks like these are underwater in like one of those Johnny Depp films. What, Pirates of the Caribbean? Could have been the Dead Man's Chester bench. Anyway, that's lot one. Look at it, all crusty and grunky. That's going to be very popular. Or if you want something different, how about this? Um, recently stolen from a bus shelter. No, not stolen, 100% legally obtained. Uh, but uh, look at that lovely patination of where the paint's wearing through. So, you know, something for everyone as ever. In addition, what else do we have? More garden things here. We've got some benches, steamer chairs, we've got some Ilex, holly in cast iron urns. There's some chimney pots, other bits and pieces, nice pair of painted doors over the way there, lot 20. So, as always, all sorts for you to look at. How about this? Lovely big dial and case. No movement, I'm afraid, but that's a nice thing, lot seven. So, yeah, lots of good things to come and look at, and we'll go over the road and see what else we've got. By magic, I'm back upstairs in where the, the small items are that we haven't sort of shown you of late, and they're just about to be laid out in the cabinets, but all sorts of goodies here. So the things like stamp albums, boxes of fans, collector's coins, rather interesting-looking vase there. I think it's not as old as it wants to be, but good look at that, lot 460, nice Chinese blue and white vase. We have Staffordshire cats and dogs and sheep and things, Meerschaum pipes, um, naval caps. Over the back, a great run of silver, I mean, some good silver lots going through. Look at this, lot 701 catches my eye, a castle top vinaigrette by Nathaniel Mills, of period, Don't, Roger will have identified that, that's lot 701. Uh, Silver inkstands, claret jugs, silver and coral rattle, dressing table sets. The silver has been absolutely booming of late with, with huge amount of online interest. Uh, down in the cabinets, again, more collectibles, barometers, watchmakers, lathes, all the curiosities you'd expect us to have. So, lots of silver to look at up here. Again, we're doing this on the sort of take it in turn arrangements or by appointment. That seems to be working very well. That looks like a Gucci scarf. 
I should think that is. Look at that. It's very colourful, isn't it? So, all sorts of interesting things. We'll go downstairs and just have a look at the rest of the smalls. Thank you. As if by magic, I'm back downstairs, and here we have some rather splendid carpets, which we can see very well without virtual overlook. It's got 168 here, the best Arabian Keelin. I should think we're looking at something like three to 500 for that. Good size, please note. Various other large carpets in the sale. We've also got an array of paintings around the walls, as you can see, complete mixture from Russell Flint's through to more contemporary things. And then running round and heading out the back, what do we find? We find the usual arrangement of smalls. So, uh, what have we got this week? Let's have a look. It's almost new to me. Uh, there's a nice big carrion piece, uh, Apollo. A few little restorations, lot 340. He appears to be unsigned, but perhaps underneath. We will find out more. Rattles away. Nothing obvious. Definitely Victorian anyway. Lot 340. Then we've got things like, this is fun, this is nice, Chinese carved. Should be a Mahjong set in there. Doesn't want to open as yet. Lot 368. I like 369, this sort of Pilkington vase. Um, looks like it might be a, oh, it's come back from a long, long time ago. We last sold that in April 2005. It's back in again, lot 369. We've got antler horns and things for doing a nice sort of wall display. Chinese uh, bronze type groups, lot 371. This um, Meissen blue and white ware is very popular at the moment, along with the Copenhagen. There's five dishes in lot 372. Elsewhere, I've got a few more pictures on the walls. Uh, this clock catches my eyes, or William IV or thereabouts, brass inset. It's a timepiece, it's just telling the time, it's not striking. By Gantony of London, I should think that's about 1830 or thereabouts, lot 329. And then across the way here, what do we see? Well, more Meissen uh, tea wares in this blue and white pattern. Decanter box there, not a bad thing. Some Chivas Regal whiskey, 18 year old and otherwise. Nice big tray there again in this Meissen. We're getting a theme here, all from the same house, lot 320. There's some nice lots of lace. There's some Maorica sardine boxes. Uh, more antlers and uh, antler related Articles which you could uh, decorate your house with. We've got some uh, Victorian pottery. It says do not pick up from the handle uh, lot, uh, lot 314 or group of related pieces there. The uh, Duke and Duchess of Windsor catalogue, the Sotheby's sale, sealed in the original packaging. That's got a bit collectible. There, there are a few sales that are always desirable like the Elton John sale being another one. That's lot 299. Uh, furthermore, I'm seeing some Dalton Flombe up there. Seashells over there. There is lamps, big old Dalton Lambeth uh, leafware stick stand, lot 359. Mixture of paintings again, some etchings on the walls, book lots, wall lights, boxes, jardinaires, as ever. It's all here in the sale. Uh, Paris porcelain scent bottles, the definitive collection by the looks of things. Uh, quite a quantity there for you. Bit of wine, another Parian figure, the seashore. And then uh, if you fancy a taxidermic fish, here we go, lot 278 is looking to be in pretty good condition. There's other things, we've got some port. I like these, these are uh, Mason's Arnstone, good pattern that. Uh, a pile of those plates, there's a nice sort of lion bronze there, sleeping lion, lot 251. So once again, all here for you, it's all online, it's all photographed. Um, we've done some condition reports, if, if you need more, just, just email in. And uh, do come and see us. The viewings are ticking over nicely without being crowded or anything like that. Uh, and equally the sales are seeing uh, every week sees a few more people in. Uh, again, all spaced out in the seating. So um, it's all good stuff. Uh, have a good weekend. Have a good look at everything we've got here. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you on the sale day. Thank you.